Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how I made this frame. It's um, actually a gift for my husband. I'm sending it to him. So, But let me show you how it works. You just set it up on your nightstand or your desk. This is a picture of Jessica. And then you just flip it and you get another picture. There's Jesse and Bowser. Here's Bowser. And then there's a picture of me. So yeah, you just set it up and it's really cute. Alright, so let me show you how I did that. You're going to need, actually, you're going to need four pieces of paper. You need two pieces of designer paper. I'm using the Summer Picnic, and I'm using the Bashful Blue. So you need two of a color and two of your designer paper, if you want to do it that way. And you're going to cut all four pieces at 3 and 5 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth. You're going to cut all four pieces like that. And then for my book, or my frame... I'm using the Formica chips that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't have any large chipboard, so I'm just going to use these. But what you're going to do first is you're going to punch a hole with your crocodile with the 3 16 side. You're going to punch a hole and you're going to center it between the main hole and the edge of your Formica sample. And you're just going to punch a hole. And then you're going to take your other piece of your Formica, and you're going to line them up, and then you're going to use the crocodile. I've got to get this paper out of here so I can see where I'm punching. Okay, so you're going to line those up, and then you're going to punch your hole that you previously punched. You're going to line that up and then punch it again. And do the other side. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so then you should have your two Formica pieces with your holes. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I put the, the frame together just using one and then we'll go from there. But you're going to do both pieces the same way as I'm going to show you how I do this one. Okay, so I'm using the Tomboy Malty. I love this glue. We just started selling it with Stampin' Up, but it's got two ends. One end's a fine tip, and then one end's a brush. We're going to use the brush end tip. And you're going to apply your adhesive glue to your Formica front of your chip board, Formica, whatever you call it. And the brush works good because you want quite a bit of glue and take it all the way to the edge. Just spread it with the brush tip. Put quite a bit on there. Okay, so then I'm going to take my Bashful Blue and I'm just going to lay this over top of my Formica. And you can work from the back side because it's very forgiving. It, takes a little bit to adhere but you can move it around a little bit to position it to be centered of your cardstock and make sure that it adheres down really good this will take a few minutes so I'm just going to show you what I did. Okay, then now your cardstock and your designer papers cut a little bit larger, and that's on purpose because we want to trim that down ourselves close to the Formica sample. Just trim it down with your scissors. Close as you can get it. That sticks to that because of the glue. Okay, so then once you get your one side on your Formica chip, you're going to take your crocodile again using the 3 16th side, and you're going to punch your holes again, lining it up with the Formica punch that you previously did. And it gets stuck in there because of the glue, so let me get that out. Because you definitely want to be able to see the hole where you're lining it up with. Okay, so then once you got your holes, 
because that's going to be where you're going to put your frame together. And then on the back side, you're going to do the same thing as you did before with the Tomboy Multi. Apply your adhesive all over to the back side, spreading it out right to the edge. And you're going to add your other piece of designer paper over top. Working it from the back side, you can see it, how it's positioned. Okay, and then you adhere that down. Okay, then you're going to trim that side down too. Uh, it's all sticking to everything because that glue. You're going to love that glue, by the way. It's really good. Okay, so just trim your designer paper to the edge of your Formica chip sample. Okay. Then you're going to want to let that set and adhere really good. And then you're going to go ahead and Punch a hole again. You're going to punch. Now you're just going to finish off that punch, lining it up with the previous punch that you did already. I've got to get that out so I can line it up good. Okay. So then I got the hole on both sides. And you're going to do both of them the same way, just as I just did. Okay, so for the sake of time, I went ahead and did two prior to the video. And next you're going to take your sanding block and you're going to work in a downward motion on the edges of your Formica sample board. And you're just going to finish off that edge of your Formica with the designer paper and your cardstock. Always working in a downward motion. And I'm just going to the side to get the little phrase off there. And you want to do both sides. Just like that. Okay? So you want to do both pieces so they're finished. Okay, so now you're going to add your ribbon. And I'm using the red gingham ribbon. And I'm going to put my book together back to back. Ah! Stick it in my fingers. Okay, then you're going to feed your ribbon through the holes. And then you're just going to tie it in a knot. And then I always like to lay it flat so I don't get it too tight because you want that to flip. But you want your knot to be even, you know, really tight. So you could even add some adhesive, like, you know, squeeze a little bit of that of a, the Tomboy Malty in there if you want just to give it some extra support. Okay, and then do the other side the same way. Line them up, put them up end to end, and then just tie your knot. troubles here doing my knot for some reason. Okay. And then trim that down. Okay, so then there's your frame. Okay. And then you can just flip it. It's cute. Here's the finished one again. Flip it. Okay? Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!